Well, folks, good news is I did find a little patch of cattails. Uh, bad news is it is absolutely storming like crazy. Um, I had to find a little overhang and get a fire going because I was freezing to death. We're about to get hypothermia. And uh, yeah, you can see this storm is just rip roaring. I got a little bit of firewood made, and yeah, we're just kind of hanging tight. You can see some cattails off there, which leads me to believe that this is fresh water that I found. There's also a fish swimming around. Uh, I'm still not sure where we're at. We came from that direction, but it's been raining uh, since the last episode. And yeah, I'm just going to have to wait out the storm, I guess. Pretty crazy stuff. Bring up my character panel. I, yeah, my temperature's back to normal now. I was soaking wet and like down to 34C body temperature. The screen started uh, getting all frosty and it just wasn't good. But there's enough of an overhang here that's protecting the fire. Looks like wind doesn't matter as long as it's directly under something. It's considered okay. Uh, looks like we might need to throw a little more wood on the fire here. Oh yeah, we'll just throw that on there. I did pick up uh, 16 pine logs to cut down that big tree. There's a big tree around the corner I cut down. And we're just hanging tight. We can't really do too much right now. I'm tempted to go cut some more cattails here. And I can run back over here and get warm. But we'll pick back up this episode uh, when the storm has passed. It says wind hurricane. Wow, then just went back to storm. Apparently we're in a hurricane. Who knew? <laughs> I'll see you after a while. All right, the storm is still going. We went and got some cattails, and I filled up the rest of my baskets, so we got some storage space now. Uh, we can actually cook these uh, cattail roots. So I dug a couple of those up. We hover over. It says cooking temperature 150 C. So once that green arrow fills up. We'll have some cooked cattails. Uh, I need to go ahead and get a little more firewood chopped up. I don't know how long this hurricane is going to last. That is uh, pretty crazy. Oh, it all went. Into the I was like, "Where did the wood go?" It all went in the fireplace. Leave. Let's say I leave four in there. The rest I'm going to stack over here. Oh, shoot. Too close to the fire. I keep stepping on it. Stepped on fire hurts. Those of you playing along at home. Uh, looks like our knife is about done for. I panicked a little bit at first. Uh, I didn't think you could nap the obsidian. You have to put down two for some reason. And then you get the option. So, heads up. Flowers in the way a little bit, but we got the job done. I haven't found any uh, bone yet. That's the best way to make a knife. Throw that up there. How's your cattail root doing? There we go. All right, I'm just gonna grab the wood. I think if I stand under here, I'll be okay temperature-wise. I'm dried back out. Uh, it's 18 outside, so it's not like it's freezing. Uh, let's shout out on some catfish root, and I'm assuming that's going to give us a vegetable. Let me look at the exact number. I don't think it gives you much, but it's a little something. You can munch on some mushrooms. Here we go. I want to kind of save those because they're fresh for another 13 days. Well, I'm going to continue waiting out this violent storm, which is apparently part of a hurricane. And I'll try to pick up the episode when we're ready to go out. Oh my goodness. After like a day and a half <laughs> of rain. I think 
The storm is moving on. It says fresh breeze, moderate breeze. And the clouds are moving off. So, wow, that was that was quite the adventure. I'm going to take this wood with me. Throw that stuff up in there. Uh, while I was waiting, I made a couple reed baskets, or reed chests, I guess they're called. So, yeah, that fire pit is cold. Let's get the cattail root out of it. I slept through the most of the night, so we're a little hungry. So we'll make Smokey the Bear happy, and we'll get rid of that. But I went all up along here, and there was a lot of cattails. So, like I said, I think this is fresh water. So let's explore along here and see what we got. I went up north along here. That's where I got all the bunch of cattails. Oh, don't tell me we're getting more rain. It's a little too rough in here to like want to settle here. At least we have some fresh water. Well, there's seaweed growing in it, but I've seen that also in the ponds where I've grown stuff, so I know it was fresh water. Okay, looks like we got more forest that direction. Maybe there's a little more flat land over there. This wouldn't be a bad place to settle. At least initially. Uh, we do have basalt around, so there's going to be obsidian, which is awesome. There's, a few, there's trees. Ooh, we got all kinds of obsidian here. Uh, we do have reeds here around these freshwater pools. I just want a little more... Uh, flat land to build on. Oh, we got some peat right here. I'm liking it. That's a whole lot of peat. Could burn that instead of firewood. Got more reeds here. One thing I haven't seen a lot of is crops. Uh, oh, speak of crops. We have some flax right here. and grab that. Speak and you shall receive, apparently. Let's eat some cranberries. So we've got cranberry bushes growing around here. They're just flowering. Uh, we have a lot of water. Get some peat over that direction. I don't want to have to do a lot of terraforming, and we're getting into forest territory, so. We know how that goes. What I'm saying is, if you have another tool in your inventory, it'll just pop that one in. So we broke our knife. It pulled in that fresh knife I had made. You can never have uh, too much storage, so I'm just going to gather some reeds while we're here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, shoot, I forgot to pick up my medium fertility soil. Whoops! It's back there somewhere. I don't want to get lost. Uh, where was this peat? It's something over there. Here's the peat. Um, and I did some experimenting, and you can't build with wood. Like, it's it's stable. The dirt just falls down, which is fine. I think we might build some kind of little dugout like here with some wood. We got partial rock walls. I need to dig up some of this peat anyway. To get that stacked up. So, I think we'll just settle right here. Let me gather up some of this grass, because when we start firing pottery and stuff, we'll need a lot of need a lot of grass. So rather than destroy this, we will harvest it. Just hoping we're far enough away from wolves. Alright, let's nap out. Um, yeah, I lost my shovel tonight. Oh, I don't have any sticks. Sticks will be a problem. Let's check out this little birchy, th birchy thing here. I know it's a little oak. Oh, we got some oak branchy leaves in there somewhere. Did you drop me a stick?
There we go. Got a couple sticks. Did we get any saplings? Heather, get out of here, Heather. Alright, well, we have some sticks. So, next to the little tower, I think this is where we're going to build. So, let's get a shovel made. Didn't make the head yet, right? And we'll see how long an obsidian shovel lasts. Here we go. All right, let's start digging. Oh, 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 I, I keep forgetting about that. That's not a thing in the normal mode, the whole collapsing dirt. At least not, th not to this degree. So we got, oh, we got soil down here. I will make some packed dirt for my floor, so it wouldn't hurt to dig that up. Oh boy. I keep thinking that's rock, but it's it's not. And then we're gonna need a bunch of wood to make our little shelter. A bunch of thatch for the roof. Am I full up? Yeah, I think I'm full. Let's get some baskets down. Stick them here temporarily. Oh, I did get some oak seeds. I didn't see the little acorn down there. Nice. I'll keep the torch on me. to plant these. That one there, and one there. We'll have some more oak trees one of these days. Okay, so that is all peat. I ended up being a peat mine rather than a dugout. Okay, I'm going to do some digging. And I'll bring you back in in a bit. Did a bunch of digging, and I've got to the start of a, f a little farm here. Is it right click? Yeah, right click. To hoe this. I wanted to get some of our seeds going. And this is not an efficient farm. This is a quick and dirty farm. I know, it's, it's not optimized. needs to be more dirt squares between the water but it's it's my quick and dirty so let's grab those seeds and I'm gonna get this horse tail down that's all the seeds we had huh it's just some flax all right well, let's get it growing plenty of moisture you can see we got nutrients those matter uh, this needs more potassium, it looks like. But we're not in uh, any kind of shape to actually do anything about that. Throw that down there. And then I need a bunch more of this. Because what you can do is... There's a packed dirt. Which I don't remember how to make. <laughs> There it is. So what I want to do is make a floor out of this. And you can make paths and stuff. And then grass won't grow on this because it's packed dirt, basically. So I need a whole bunch of that. Uh, I blew through my shuffle already. I just had to make another one. But you really got to watch the, uh, the collapsing. 
Which can kind of work in your favor if you want stuff to fall. But I've been mining out all this peat. Finally hit some rock down here. Uh, but what's neat in Vintage Story is you can stack a lot of different things on the ground. I just pick these up to get them out of the way. This peat stack? Yeah. So we can just stack this peat up on the ground. It doesn't need a storage chest. You can just keep stacking it. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, sure, go on my offhand. That'll work. So if you crouch right-click, you just hold down right-click. It'll just pile it to the sky, apparently. I don't know how high you can go. Apparently pretty high. Okay. That doesn't need to be taken up all of our storage. And let's put that back in there. And so I want to get some more packed dirt here, and then we're going to start building walls. You can see how that just falls off of there. So I kind of want this to be one part of the wall. And then where does my wood go? I could just do soil for the foundation. So we go. Yeah, that'll be the actual wall. Let me dig this up. I'm not going to burn my shovel up on it. We'll just punch it. Now this is going to be ugly. I go like this. Yeah, so I'll have the corner posts going up. This can just be dirt, though. I don't know that I can punch that, so I probably shouldn't have set that down there. So that could remain soil. And depending on where you snap, that determines the direction it's going to go. We'll have a door here, then two blocks, and then a vertical. And that's the start of our house. It's not much, but we're getting there. Uh, the other big concern is food. I'm going to have to go foraging for food because I've blown through all my fruit, all my mushrooms. Uh, that's why we need to get some vegetables and stuff growing. Because food is going to be a big concern here at the beginning. Grass eaten. Oh, something's been eating the grass over here. Well, well, well. And of course, this is going to be the other wall. I'm going to make it like 5 by 7, something like that. And in my regular playthrough where I was testing this out... Whoa! I was, of course, just making a little dirt hovel, because you can build with dirt in regular mode. And I'm continue to mine out the, uh, the peat. So that doesn't necessarily need to be packed dirt under there. What happens if I just dig that out? I want packed dirt for the entranceway. This can be regular dirt. Like so. Then this peat is gone, so we can fill that back in with regular dirt. Let's get our packed dirt down here. And get rid of that stone at some point. So then our floor is going to be packed dirt, so it doesn't grow grass inside of our cabin. Make sense? I think so. And I need to make more packed dirt. Let's 
This will be our floor. Dig from the top down. There we go. I'm learning. Slowly but surely, I'm learning. So we're going to have a few more there. This basalt rock here is going to be just part of the building. It's just going to be part of my house. We'll fill in around it. Oh, crap. Still learning how that instability works. Neat system. Uh, it seems kind of random. Like that. Maybe it has to be like three blocks? I don't know. I'm sure there's a logic to it. We just have to figure it out. And all you uh, Vintage Story veterans are probably pretty frustrated with me right now. <laughs> just remember, I'm new. I have a lot to learn. Oh, how perfect would that be? Is that seven? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it is. All right, so we just need to get rid of this dirt. And that's going to be our back wall. And then I'll probably eventually get rid of that dirt, but it can it can hold there for now. So we need to get rid of this stuff. Let's let that fall down naturally. It's kind of cool. That's going to be our corner piece, and then that will come across there. So I need a lot more wood, but uh, I need food. So in between episodes, I'm going to go foraging and get some more materials together. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. We're going to build a little house here. Uh, we're going to get some stuff growing. I need to do some hunting at some point. And the early game is just kind of foraging and gathering materials. There's just there's so much to do. Uh, we're going to eventually be prospecting for copper and building clay stuff and firing them in pit kilns. And there's lots and lots to do. But I think that will do it for this episode. Humble beginnings for sure. But I'll catch you in the next adventure. Thanks as always for watching. I've seen people wave in this game. I need to figure out how to do that. <laughs>